Hey, for today's video, I thought I'd answer the question we got asked on the page. It seems Mr. Warwick Mary from warwickmary.com said, Hey Brad, could you do something in how to have a HTTPS web page, which is a secure web page? And I see from Warwick's site that he does actually have a secure certificate on there, but he may be having problems elsewhere. So let's see if we can help him a bit. And let's face it, quite frankly, the secure certificates are kind of confusing. Now, there's a couple of things you need to understand. The first is the secure certificate or the SSL certificate is installed on your host server. But what a lot of people don't realize is these days they're given to you for free on most hosting platforms. So for example, this is uh, one of my servers and it is at um, uh, HostGator. And you can see here, Million Dollar Web Brands, which is the one we're working on, has the little lock next to them already. And that's given to us by Let's Encrypt, which is included free on the server. If I go to Ventra IP, V-E-N-T-R-A-I-P.com.au, which is the company that I use for all my client sites and that, I find them extremely good. They're an Australian company and they're very fast. Um, they have this little thing down here, you'll see it called Auto SSL. And if I click that, it says Ventra IP hosting services comes with free SSL. So there's different levels of SSL certificates for the majority of jobs, but this is more than enough. Now, if it wasn't already installed, uh, there'd be a little button there for me to click. And when I come back in a little while, the SSL certificate would be installed, meaning that the server has the secure certificate. But where most people run into problems is with their website itself, is getting it to show up as HTTPS and to get this little lock up in the top corner. And there's a couple of little things you can do to make it easier, okay? The first is with WordPress, we go into our settings and go to general. More often than not, older sites, will have this set as HTTP. So you need to add an S in there, first of all. Okay, so that way it will direct it to the secure part whenever you come in on the website. So we need to do that and then we need to save. Now when we save, it should log us out. And when we are out, then when we try to log back in, we'll log back in under HTTPS rather than HTTP. Now, the reason it hasn't done that is because I actually pulled that setting out to demonstrate this to you. Now, the other thing is that you can have that turned on, but half your pages come up as secure and half your pages don't. And it's just one of those things. So the easiest way to fix that is actually to put in a plugin. So let's have a look at my plugins and we'll see, we don't have any secure plugins in here. So let's go add new and type SSL here. And you'll see there's a range of different ones. So, you know, this one here, really simple SSL, looks like it's probably the one you want, but it says here, you only need an SSL certificate and the plugin will do it. Well, I don't need to do that because the SSL certificate's on the server already, it's not there. We've got force it here, you know, um, but in this case, 99% of your problem is actually gonna get fixed with this little plugin called Secure, Insecure Content Fixer, okay? So it actually redirects everything and makes sure that it works properly. So let's just click install now. It'll only take a second. Activate it. And if we go into tools, um, SSL tests, it'll run the tests and tell you that everything's fine. There it is. Your server can detect HTTPS normally, so that's all fine. And then under settings, you'll see the plugin SSL insecure content, which is the plugin we just put in. Now, obviously you can have it set to off, which means it's not doing anything. Simple is the best place to start, okay? Now, there is other levels. Um, for example, you know, here's the HTTPS detection, and see it's got detected as recommended settings. So you really don't need to be a brain surgeon to do this. Um, once you've done that, click Save Changes, and pretty well all your content should then as you go through the pages, um, switch over to SSL. Now, the biggest problem you have is when you come into a website, um, often within the text, like you'll have a button like this and the link is actually hard coded in. So if I, um, I'll just go into Edit with Thrive Architect, I'll show you what I mean by hard coded. So, 
generally with links there's a couple of ways of doing them as you've seen probably previously that you can click on something and then do a search for the page so if I um, well, let's come down here where we can see more clearly let's take successful we click here to add a link and one of the things we can do is um, and type contact oops let's spell that properly and you'll see any pages like contact come up listed here and then we click on that and go insert and that will I'll just put a straight link through but it won't put the full web address generally you'll see if you look at the code it would actually say dot dot slash contact dot um, or whatever it needs to be on the end there whether it's PHP HTML or just plain because it's WordPress okay where the problem lies is when someone types a link like this Okay, so see here we've got HTTP. Now that's hard coded. That means that the code has been manually put in there with the full address. What I'll often see normally is you'll see something like like this. This is a soft coding, meaning that whatever the web address is, we will replace that two dots, and then the rest of the address is there. So if you go through your site and you've got lots of links, just go through and check and see if, if there is some that are switching and not kind of going properly across to secure, although the insecure um, plugin should fix that problem. Um, it generally is because they're hard coded in, so they don't have the HTTP. They've got HTTP like that, okay, at the front. So that's generally the best way to put a secure certificate in these days it used to be a lot more difficult and depending on which hosting company you use it can be a lot more difficult but that's one of the things i do love about venture ip is you know you click a button and hey presto you're secure as i said there is different levels of security you can go up to higher levels for example a shopping cart would need a much higher level of security but as most people use third-party shopping carts um, like ec weird or um, shopify and all those they already have a very high level of encryption there. So that's another reason why I do actually like to use a third party shopping cart rather than using WooCommerce, because I know the level of encryption is much higher and um, they take care of it and make sure it's secure. So I hope this answers your question, Mr. Warwick Mary, and uh, please keep those questions coming and I'll keep doing videos. Catch you in the next one.